Hello everybody, this is the Peace Security Channel. Welcome to part two of the review on Komodo Internet Security Beta 6.0. So in case you haven't seen part one, I'd really recommend going over and watching that because I did go over a lot of things in that video. So this is part two, and before we get to the prevention test, I just wanted to clarify a couple of things I think I left out in the first uh, part of the video. And one of them is the taskbar. Now this taskbar is fully customizable because a lot of users had these problems that now you have to go through a lot of the interface to get to some parts like let's say I just love to reset the sandbox and I need to reset it every 30 minutes or so. I like to keep the sandbox clean. Now if that's the case what you can do is you can right click on it and select add to taskbar. So now or let's say you like watch activity. You don't have to come here every time you want to do that. What you can do is uh, add it to the taskbar and now you've got these brand new buttons over here and you can also remove it whenever you want. So this taskbar is fully customizable so that makes this product a lot more accessible. At first it also seemed to me that it will be tough to use this interface to get to different parts of the program but this taskbar solves that problem. So that's it with the interface. Now let's just open up Task Manager because I'm pretty anxious to see the memory usage again. Because a lot of users uh, complain that it's very heavy and uh, it's uh, slowing down their system like crap. I haven't really noticed anything like that. And right now it's updating, in case you haven't noticed. So it does take up quite some resources during the update. But I'm pretty sure once that's done, I'll just drop like uh, drop to back to about 10-15 megs. So right now, the only you know thing is while installing the signatures and stuff, it's pretty heavy. Right now it's killing the CPU, and I think this is what the users were complaining about and that's only when it's updating. Once uh, the update's done, it's uh, you know one of the quickest security suites you'll ever find. So just, uh, I guess I'll just pause the video while this thing completes. It's almost done, so I guess I don't have to pause. Yeah, it's done. And now if we just uh, close everything out, get in and explore I mean uh, Windows Explorer responsive again and uh, now if I open up Task Manager I'm pretty sure everything will be back to normal. Okay it's still like going yeah there you go. So now this is the way it is when it's not doing anything. Five max years or let's say six and then we get about 8 over here and uh, 10 and so it's using about 17 megs at system idle and that's the way it is so there are really no issues with this program it's very light and easy to use only thing the update process is heavy so now let's get to the prevention part I have some really fresh malware links over here and we'll try them out and see how Komodo can protect us. Everything is set to stock settings, so I haven't messed with any of the settings. HIPS is turned off, sandbox is on, and that's the way we'll do the test. Okay, just give me a second. Okay, so here's our first link. I think this is uh, some kind of spy keylogger. We'll just run it. Pretty sure this is malware see what Komodo can do. No sandbox this time. The installer is running just fine and I'll just install it. I don't know why this thing wasn't sandboxed. Okay, so now it's uh, found some kind of uh, malware in here, spy keylogger and it got cut. So it looks like the installer ran but the program is probably not going to run. In fact it did run but you know. 
maybe some part of it was removed. So let's continue. Second one, some kind of adware or Trojan. I'm not too sure. Looks like a Trojan to me. Let's see if Komodo grabs it. Yeah, it's caught as adware hotbar, so that's a piece of adware. Here's another executable. No, in fact, it uh, doesn't have an extension. Let's try run it should be isolated in case oh it's caught by the signatures Trojan dropper so that's really nice these are pretty new malware so it's good to see that Komodo has quite a lot of signatures for them this one's also caught uh, this uh, unclassified malware um, this probably some more Trojan stuff This one's not in the signatures, but and it got sandbox and didn't run. So let's try this one. This is some Trojan again. And this thing also got cut. So it shouldn't run. This is some kind of exploit, I guess. I hit open. And it's caught suspicious. Got quarantined by Komodo. Here are some more Trojans. Uh, lots of Trojans in here. Okay, this one actually got blocked by Komodo Security NS, so that's very good. I really wish they would improve their Security NS so that it would block like phishing websites and more websites than it does now, because right now it just barely blocks anything. But this one got caught by the signatures. And here's some strange MP3 file. It looks like an MP3. It's probably some exploit. If I hit open, should have saved it probably. But let's see what happens. And it's caught, so it's not going to be able to do whatever it's supposed to do. Here's some more crap over here. It's not going to work, so I'll close it. This one's also blocked by Komodo, probably cut by, it's uh, probably the domain is cut by SecureDNS. So SecureDNS does block things, although they're very, you know, rare SecureDNS blockings. I mean, I tried so many files and only two got blocked. So if they'd work on it, that would just be so nice. Now this one was caught, it tried to drop some file, this an exploit, and uh, Komodo quarantined the file. Uh, but it hung up my browser. Can't even close it. That's what exploits do. They try to, you know, make your browser crash, all that. And it looks like it wants me to install Adobe Reader or something. I don't know why it started up. So yeah, that one was probably an Adobe Reader exploit. I do have Adobe Reader installed, I just remember. So the exploit crashed because uh, Komodo removed it. It's pretty clear now. So let's try the next one. This is one more exploit tried to get a variety of malware. 
see if this one does anything. So far, no alerts from Komodo about that one. There's some other exploit, and this one dropped a file pretty quickly, and it got caught by Komodo. I don't know if this one dropped it and it wasn't uh, caught or whatever. It's opening up some crap anyway, so I'll have to uh, censor this. Okay, so let's continue here. That's the last link that we have. It's another executable. Let's see if it works out. I really love to see a website blocking in Komodo like some other security companies have like Kaspersky Bitdefender because it's such a great way to block threats. It's not confusing. It doesn't uh, give the user any choices and it uh, blocks malware before it actually gets to your hard drive so I think that's pretty cool although it's, uh, you might say that Detecting it with the signature is just the same thing, but it's not the same thing. It's always better, and that thing can al always block uh, unknown webs. I mean, uh, phishing websites and things like that. So anyway, the last link appears to be dead. A bad way to finish, but Komodo did protect us against almost everything. And the only thing that I have running over here is the spy keylogger. I don't know what to do about this. This certainly malware and Komodo did block a part of this. Now what's something interesting that I found out is that this thing was in sandbox so the only way that could have happened is that if it was in trusted files. So let's just see what's going on here. So let's go down all the way here, and there you go. Oh my. This uh, program is actually trusted by Komodo for no odd reason. It's malware, that's for sure, and it managed to get to the trusted files of Komodo, and uh, probably that's because the vendor who created the file make it more bigger so that you can see that okay this is probably a bug in the beta you see this company thing is not getting bigger so I can't really expand it or something I can only contract it should be I should be able to expand that as well but anyway it looks like spy software is a trusted file so that shouldn't be there but uh, we'll just make sure so I won't do too many scans on this one because I didn't really see too many things get through so I'll just do a Hitman Pro scan and I'll be right back. Just tell you guys that I'll first run CCleaner, reset the sandbox and then I'll run Hitman Pro in case uh, you get confused. Hitman Pro just finished scanning and it hasn't found anything at all so and that spy keylogger did not start up uh, once I rebooted the machine so Komodo probably removed the startup item but I'm pretty sure it's still there here in program files yep so I'm not hundred percent sure about this so I'll do one more scan with Norton Power Racer because that's a different kind of an engine so I'll do a scan with NPE and I'll be back with the results Looks like Norton Power Racer was actually smart enough to find this spy keylogger and it's uh, it's found the entire directory, not just a single file. And once we remove it, it says it's pretty clearly bad, it's not the cloud, it's the direct signatures that caught it. And I'm pretty sure that this is, this is a threat, but uh, to satisfy you guys, I will go up to Firestool on this one and I'll be back with the results. Well, this is uh, these are the first total results uh, for scanning this file. 
this is the executable part of uh, that folder, the thing that you can run to get this. And uh, I just made this shortcut now, and let's see what uh, engines catch it. It's caught by a Vera, and it's also caught by a Fast. Uh, Quick Heal says it's suspicious. MCSoft has it as adverse by Keylogger. ESET catches it. So does Icarus. McAfee also has a signature. And uh, of course, Norton and Norman also catch this. So, uh, well, I'm counting this as a threat because it's caught by 11 engines, and uh, some major engines haven't caught it, like Kaspersky. Uh, it's not caught by Bitdefender or any of the other engines like F-Secure. It's not caught by uh, what else? It's not caught by Panda. It's not caught by a lot of other stuff like uh, it's also not cut by Dr. Webb and uh, AVG also has no signature for it so yeah you may say that this is not malware or whatever but I'm going to count this as malware and uh, something else that's uh, pretty strange about this file is that it the directory it created when it installed this is hidden. So you can see it's found at program files. But if I open it, let's say I'm a user and I want to remove it or something, and I open up program files, it's not there. But then if I go into folder and search options, I hit show hidden files and folders, then I get this thing pop up. So it's hidden by default. And uh, that's not a good thing. If it were a legitimate program, I don't see any need to do that. And uh, there are legitimate keyloggers and stuff, but this looks like malicious to me. And uh, I'm going to fix it. And other than that, I think that's something that Komodo really need to uh, look into. Like, I'm going to submit this file to Komodo. And I know, I mean, uh, Komodo is supposed to sandbox every unknown file, so but this file doesn't get sandboxed in the first place and that's where the problem starts and that's because it's right now spy software is a trusted vendor in Komodo and uh, so this file got treated as a trusted file and it was allowed to do everything so I'd really like Komodo to look uh, check it up because uh, it might be malicious and also the strange thing is that Komodo did catch a part of that file with its signatures and uh, how, how is it possible that you're catching a part of the f program with your signatures and you still have the program in your trusted vendors list? So that's pretty strange. And uh, I know it's tough when you have so many trusted vendors to manage them, but I'm pretty sure Komodo are going to look into it and uh, go get it fixed. Or at least whether or not the file is malicious, because there's no way to be 100% sure. I'm not a malware analyst, but. Uh, from the looks of it, it looks so uh, doesn't look legitimate to me. So that's it for this review. Komodo did very well. It blocked everything, as you saw, other than that one piece of spy keylogger, which is due to uh, the fact that it's present in the trusted files right now. See it right here. Let me show you one more time. Now I'm not going to open up the trusted vendors because it's a huge list and I won't be able to find it. But if we go into here, I'm pretty sure you can find oh, right there. It's uh, it's part of the trusted files for no reason. So I think it should be checked up and maybe uh, removed from the trusted vendors list if they find that really this is malicious software. So that's it, basically. It did do pretty well, uh, excluding that one miss. So it's a pretty good beta. I mean, it's very stable. I have had no issues with this so far. It hasn't crashed or let anything through that should not have been let through. I mean, this one's let through because it's part of the trusted files. But other than that, it does look a very good beta. I don't think it has too many bugs or anything. 
And uh, I'm really looking forward to the final release. So hope you guys enjoyed this review. Have a nice day, and I'll talk to you later.